I have been alive now longer without her than I got to be alive with her. The pain of losing a parent in the station fire. Sarah Ballard was 18 when her mom, Sarah Tilgarski, died. Her father, Craig, was badly burned. I didn't know they were there. I'd come home the next day after classes and I saw like no one was home. I just figured my mom was at work and I had no idea until it was like later on that night, a friend of my mom's kept coming up and asking me if I'd heard from them. She was like, you need to go up to West Fork and file a missing persons report. Your mom and dad were in a fire and your mom, um, they can't find your mom. Sarah went to the center set up for families at the Crown Plaza Hotel. She first learned her father was in the hospital in a medically induced coma. And it was around midnight. My aunt had brought me into like one of their like ballrooms and she sat me down and she was like, mom didn't make it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really tough. I like felt like the wind was like knocked out of me, like I couldn't breathe. And then they drive home to Connecticut. All I remember is screaming, like just it was, like hurt so much. I was just screaming. An 18 year old who had to get her mother's dental records. I kind of felt like I was like orphaned because I didn't have my dad. He was in the hospital. My mom was gone, but I mean, it was really hard. Like I was, you know, I was, I was still a kid and I was just like, I don't have this all figured out and I don't have my mom. and. What do I do now? I, I didn't really talk about it for like the first few years. I had a really hard time processing it, um, but like a lot of anxiety kind of came out from it. Right here, that's a good one. But then talking about her mom helped. She was really funny. Um, she was gorgeous. She was a hard worker. She was really strong. She was independent. She loved helping people. She was a nurse. She was awesome. Like, she was my role model. And Sarah keeps those memories alive. I've done all these things in my life to try to make her proud of me and do what I think that she would want me to do. And um, I think, like, as I've grown, like, I've done a lot of healing, you know? Like, you, you go through all these things and you, at some point, you have to talk about it and you have to heal from it and you have to, you know, kind of accept except what it is. It's still hard, you know. I still have days where I cry. I've been crying every day since February 1st. <laughs>